Welcome, everyone. I'm Nancy Rice. I'm the Chief Justice of the State of Colorado. I'm so pleased to be able to welcome you to the IELTS Rebuilding Justice Award Dinner. The Conference of Chief Justices is made up of all the Chief Justices throughout the United States and the U.S. territories. Their mission as an organization is to provide a way of Chief Justices to connect and to share information, to provide educational opportunities, and to uh, develop policies that they can share nationwide and bring back to the various courts. They're the linchpin. The Conference of Chief Justices adopted a resolution back in 2015 that recognized the importance of access to justice for all and recognized that we have access to justice issues across our system and that that issue is deeper and broader than we have historically thought. People are, oftentimes will conclude that the cost of uh, attorneys and the court filing fees and all that, that really exceeds the value of their case. And so uh, they sometimes will abandon the case or they may say, I'm not even going to try to pursue any kind of remedy in the courts. And so that's a big concern. Justice delayed, justice denied, but more than that, we've really been behind the times in delivering services to the public. I think that the judiciary has to respond to that challenge. I think it is our duty to provide good access to those folks when they come into our courthouses. The Conference of Chief Justices recognized that um, while there were these pockets of wonderful reforms and efforts, that they wanted to spread this um, reform effort nationally and to make a more uniform approach to our state courts and transform our state courts as a whole across the nation. So the Conference of Chief Justices created this committee and IELTS was excited to partner at, with the National Center for State Courts in supporting that committee's efforts and the committee over the course of several years created 13 recommendations for transforming civil justice in our state courts. With the conference, it's not just conceptual work, but if you look at the report on uh, civil justice reform, very specific recommendations, very specific resources that are available. IELTS and the National Center for State Courts have partnered to develop a roadmap for state courts. And the roadmap really sets out seven steps that state courts can follow as they implement reform. It kind of gives us some new language, some, some new energy, if you will, and it can help mobilize the staff. It's also a good message, I think, out to the public to let folks know that we're trying to improve our court system as well. We see states around the country and their chiefs being leaders in civil justice reform and taking those recommendations and implementing them on the ground. The Conference of Chief Justices has also been innovative and a leader in terms of family justice reform and has recognized that we have issues and needs on our family side as well. So it's an equal area where there can be reform at our state level. In the area of family law, those principles are being applied. So I think you're seeing that effort that's engaged with the Civil Justice Initiative really growing and really extending because those principles, those principles of being litigant oriented, of case management, of providing services, those apply in all the various case types. The resolution recognizes that we need to make it a goal to make our system accessible for all, and it issues that challenge to our state courts to make our system accessible to all. So it sets that 100% goal for us to achieve. It means that people feel that they can have their day in court and that they'll be treated fairly and they'll be able to have their story told and, they, and to be heard. My goal is for every litigant who comes into the courts to at least feel like there is a live person who can talk to them, maybe a lawyer, maybe not a lawyer, help them with the system so that they feel they're getting heard and processed, due process, if you will, through the courts. There's never been a better time to uh, embrace some of these suggestions from the CCJ and uh, to try to um, implement these and then continue to evaluate and make improvements as well. I think we have to remember we're in a marathon, not a sprint. And we're looking to change the culture. The test here is really to make it so it's integrated where the culture change, where it really becomes part ingrained in the culture of the courts. The Rebuilding Justice Award is IELTS' most prestigious award, and we give it yearly to an individual or an organization that exemplifies the innovation and leadership that we champion at IELTS.
The 2018 recipient of IELTS Rebuilding Justice Award is the Conference of Chief Justices. I'm very proud to serve in the organization, the National Center for State Courts, that serves your organization, and hope that in some measure, we support you in all your endeavors to achieve all that you've achieved. Well, just a huge congratulations and thank you to the CCJ. Uh, your leadership has, uh, in some ways, I think moved mountains, honestly. I'm very proud of the Conference of Chief Justices winning this award. I think it's a well-deserved award. The conference works hard at trying to reform justice. It has done so for a long time. Each of the justices feel very strongly about this. And so to be awarded for this is just really a wonderful thing. On behalf of IELTS, I'd like to congratulate the Conference of Chief Justices.